One of the things about the inspired learning model that I love is that, you know, the philosophy is we're all lifelong learners. And it's really, really important to create a safe environment that allows people to show up and feel safe in the learning process. And in adult literacy, we you know, have the theme that we're learner-centered, and that is our philosophy. And I think the inspired learning model just enhances many of the things that are already in place with adult literacy. Well, actually, the inspired learning model is really kind of a delivery system, so it can be used in in any situation. With the roles and goals, I think one of the important things is active listening. What really helps bring out more information is asking open-ended questions, finding out what the learner's really interested in, and then honoring their process and their goals and such, and guiding the sessions in such a way that is personal to them. So the roles and goals and the inspired learning model I really think is just really paying attention uh, to what does the learner want to accomplish. If they're not giving enough information to ask deeper questions, sometimes we'll hear things like, well, I just want to be able to read better. And it's like, well, if you could read perfectly, what would you really like to be doing with your life? So it's sort of like being a detective, is just how do you get more information so that it's easier to be present in the process with the learning. Some of the things that I think are really important about the Inspired Learning Model is that there's an equal partnership going on. So the learning process is, you know, it's shared, it's, it's equal. And as a facilitator or a tutor, is to you know be informed on whatever the subject matter is but the, the facilitator and tutor is the one that creates that safe learning environment and within that environment it, it's being very present and actively listening to what the learner has to say and, and paying attention to their strengths and being able to practice positive acknowledgement. Many people who come into the programs have not had a lot of positive acknowledgement, so I think that positive acknowledgement is a big, um, wonderful kind of shift in the way that we approach learning. The learning, the learning environment, I really can't say enough about that. It's like by just creating the environment with positive feedback and presence, there's something magical that happens with people being able to relax and open up more and start to trust that they do have the information and they're able to share that. The integration piece of being able to share information in different ways so that we honor different learning processes, different learning styles, and that's another key part of the Inspired Learning Model is doing things repeatedly in different ways and letting the learner actually have the experience of being able to apply that information to real life or to a situation because then they know it, they have it. They won't forget it. They're not memorizing information. So then there's the inspiration, and that's another part of the element, and it's hard to explain. It's the magic that happens when all those other elements are in place, that there's just a lot of things that aren't planned and prepared for that come out of the learning process. I think this work is important, and the reason I feel that way is that a lot of people have experienced not so great learning experiences, and they question themselves and doubt that they can really, really do the things that they want to do. So by using this model, it really focuses on what the person already is doing correctly, and somehow in the process of this, there's a, um, 
integration, a magic that happens that they start to believe in themselves and have confidence. And then they're able to more fully participate in the learning process to ask for what they need, where before they might not have been able to, to, to ask or even know what their goals really are. The Inspired Learning Model has made a huge difference in my own life. For one thing, it's allowed me to fulfill one of my dreams, and that's working with people in a way that's positive and allows creativity and builds confidence and self-esteem. And so it's giving me actually a place to practice a lot of the philosophy. And it's not just with my work. It overflows into my personal life. One of the elements of guidelines that um, are used in the model are, they have become a way of being. They're a practice. It's not something that you just read and then you do it. It actually takes practice to be positive focused, to be present. And it's really changed my life in many ways. My relationships, it's you know, given my work a whole different um, light. And I just hope that I will be able to share more of the inspiration with other people who are looking for different ways to approach learning and being involved in various activities.